Three murders now being connected to a gang that operates inside of Smith State Prison. A Long County grand jury indicted three people in the murder of Jessica Jerling. Now she's the woman who was killed at a mobile home park in Long County in June of 2021. The indictment contains new details con connecting her murder to others in the area. It says they all happen on the orders of one man who is already in prison. Haley Boland obtained a copy of the indictment and joins us now to break down what's inside. Yeah, Don, Nathan Weeks, Dennis Craft, and Keisha Jones are now facing multiple charges, including malice murder, felony murder, and aggravated assault in connection to the death of Jessica Gerling. The indictment begins to paint a bigger picture, establishing Gerling's death as part of a pattern of violence and crime by a group that says it runs Smith State Prison. The indictment establishes Weeks, Kraft, and Jones as members of the East St. Laurent squad, which according to the document is a group that profits from smuggling contraband into Smith State Prison and uses violence to do it. Nathan Weeks, who entered Smith State Prison in 2019, is listed as the president of the group and has even claimed that, quote, it is his prison. The document says Jessica Gerling, the murder victim, was the first lady of the group. She worked as a corrections officer at Smith State Prison while carrying on a romantic relationship with Weeks and was eventually fired in June 2020 for smuggling in marijuana for the gang to sell to inmates. She was facing charges for this, but Weeks and Jones recruited Kraft to help them kill Gerling on June 28, 2021 in Long County, according to the indictment. Dennis Kraft was arrested and charged this January for his involvement in Gerling's death. This indictment is the first time Weeks and Jones have been connected to the murder. Both were already in custody for different crimes when Kraft was arrested. The document also says the group has a pattern of bribing and coercing corrections officers. It says inmates offer guards money to bring in contraband. When that doesn't work, they use violence, making things more difficult for law enforcement to control the prison. The indictment says the gang recruits people on the outside to apply for corrections jobs, creating a quote whack-a-mole of investigations into dirty guards. While this indictment is about Gerling's death, it connects other murderers to the Yves Saint Laurent squad. This includes the murder of Jerry Lee Davis, a Wayne County man killed in 2021. The document states that Weeks, Gerling, and Christopher Sumlin, another member of the group, killed him. It also connects the death of Bobby Kicklider, which happened in January 2021 in Tattnall County, to the group. Investigators have called this a case of mistaken identity, with the intended target being a corrections officer who once lived on the same street. Keisha Jones, Sumlin, Weeks, and Ariel Murphy had already been charged for this murder. It also goes on to explain the violence corrections officers face working inside the prison, including an officer who was assaulted and another who faced threats. Now, the indictment also states that there are still members of the group who investigators have not discovered yet and that the group consists of inmates, civilians, and at times, members of corrections staff. It says the Department of Corrections confiscates items every day, but they have not been able to stop it.